es Chupal. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Why, Capybara? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible. No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <sighs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in this city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kukulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. 
They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. You said I'm alive. Hello? Peace Go sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Baititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I sent people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. There's something there. <laughs> Come. Come in. How did it happen? When we arrived, Shoko, the mistress of the house, was arguing with Taruka, her servant. Sumak lay dead between them. Taruka was covered in blood. Did Shoko witness the murder? No. She came home from the market to find Taruka standing over Sumak. Has Taruka confessed? No, he pleads innocence. But you're here now, Ahau. Few can lie under the scrutiny of the gods. Hmm. When he confesses, speak with the investigator. He's up near the body. Oh, how? Please show mercy. I swear I didn't kill my master. Be calm, Turuka. Tell me what happened. I came in from working the fields. I heard a loud noise, like a gate slamming shut. I ran and found Suma covered in blood. He'd been stabbed. I... I tried to stop the bleeding, but he was already gone. That's why your hands are bloody. Ahau, please believe me. I'll return if I have any more questions. <laughs> Hello? Shoko? Yes, Ahau. I know this is difficult, but I need you to tell me what happened. I was at the market with... Oh, poor Sumak. Take your time. Start from the beginning. You're at the market? Yes, with Agna. I was going to make bokchuk. It's... It was my husband's favorite. Agna? One of my servants. What happened when you came home? I found Taruka in the kitchen, standing over Sumak. His hands covered in my husband's blood. I yelled and the guards arrived. Was he holding a weapon? No. Did you hear a loud slam as you arrived? 
Uh, uh, no, of course not. What about Akna? What about her? She was with me. She accompanied me to the market and back. Where is she now? Recovering in her room. She's had quite a shock. I'll go talk to her. But... Uh, yes, of course. <clears throat> As you wish, Akha. Looks like the body was moved. Greetings, Ahal. What do you have? Sumak was stabbed in the neck many times with something pointy and very sharp. Like an arrow or a knife? Whatever it was, it's gone now. We've searched the entire room. Then the murderer took the weapon with them. May I have a look at the body? Of course. May the gods grant you the wisdom to see what I can. <sighs> For a stab wound, there's not much blood. Yes, Ahal? Did anyone see Shoko at the market at the time when Sumak was killed? She was with Agna, her servant. Why? Taruka says he heard a gate slam when he arrived. That's what drew him to discover the body. Soon after, Shoko arrived. That's correct. So where's the murder weapon? We searched everywhere. It's not in the house. <sighs> We're missing something. I'll speak with Akna, see what she knows. As you wish, Ahal. Taruka is guilty, Ahal. I'm sure of it. Yes, Ahal. How can I help? You said earlier you've been working in the fields. Did you return here with your tools? No. Since the rebels attacked, the cult of Kukulkan has seized our farming tools. We must surrender them when leaving the fields. When Shoko returned, was Akna with her? No, it was only Shoko. Akna was not there. Why? Thank you, Taruka. What is it, Ahau? Where was Akna when you found your husband? What? She was with me. Taruka says she wasn't. And you take the word of a servant over mine? I only want the truth. Forgive me, Ahau. I, I have no idea what Taruka meant by that. Akna was close by. She, she must have gone back to her quarters. When she is nervous, she cleans. Examine the body, Ahau. Perhaps you can see something I missed. I'm sure you will find something that proves I'm innocent. As I told you, Daruka, the servant, was found with blood on his hands. Please, I just want this terrible day to be over and justice done. This will never be... Hello, Akna. Oh, Ahau. Forgive me, I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Does this gate open? The gate? No, no, no. It's broken. It has been broken for, uh, for a long time. Akna. <sighs> I'll find another way around. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. It was on. Uh, how? Hello? Is it true? Sumak was murdered? Yes, I'm looking for Akna. I have questions for her. The servant girl? <laughs> I wouldn't waste any time on her. She doesn't know anything. She can't even see what's going on right in front of her eyes every day. What do you mean? I apologize, How? It's not my place to speak. If you know something, tell me. Let's just say Shoko and Sumak didn't have the most passionate of marriages. Shoko always had eyes for Ikal. Ikal? Sumak's business partner. So they were friends. 
They're much more than friends, I think. Thank you for the information. The pleasure is mine, Nahao. Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One. I think we have a visit. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh... Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreika. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimac? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Rimac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Thank you. Enjoy it. That's not enough. Mm. 
Come find me if you need anything else. Come see what I have to trade. Peace, Carl? You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing. But all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives, despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Ducky thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. Listen for the sound of drums. <laughs> <laughs> 